Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and I want to go over what is some of the most insulting DLC I've ever seen in my life. Um, this gained some traction after PC Gamer posted an article and this uh, came to my attention based on PC Gamer's article. Uh, the title is Worse Than Horse Armor Age of Mythology Retold is charging $6 for 22 year old JPEGs giving the DLC very negative Steam reviews before the game is even out. Uh, the game actually just dropped today. Uh, earlier today, and Age of Mythology Retold is a game that actually does have a very positive reception from the creators of the award-winning Age of Empires franchise. Age of Mythology Retold goes beyond history to a mythical age where gods, monsters, and humans collide, combining the best elements of the beloved Age of Mythology with modern real-time strategy design and visual. So, bit of an updated release, and this is a game that also you know, had a premium edition with a seven-day early access, so if you did play the early access release, um, you know, you already were playing the game a week or so ago, but the game also had this Age of Mythology retold Legacy Deity Portrait Pack, and right now this portrait pack has 171 user reviews, and 17% of those reviews are positive. Why is that? Why would you say, well, what is this DLC? Uh, it, it calls itself a portrait pack, for fans of the original game's artwork, this portrait pack allows you a nostalgic journey back to the origins of gaming greatness. Relive the glory days of gaming with this special pack which offers players the option to use iconic deity portraits from the classic game that captivated audiences worldwide. And uh, it is priced at $5.99. Um, it is something that is literally uh, available in a lot of other games for free. <laughs> One of the reviews, Greed is a bottomless pit that exhausts the person for uh, an endless effort to satisfy the need without ever reaching satisfaction. This DLC should be free for everyone. The new portraits look like generic fantasy MOBA characters. I really don't understand what they were thinking, but to then have the audacity to sell us the old, actually good-looking portraits is an entirely different story. The remake is great, but to rip off your old fans just wanted some nostalgia with the old portraits is scummy as hell. It is scummy as hell. Now, I don't have um, nostalgia attached to this franchise. It's obviously not my cup of tea, but I could totally understand why from a financial standpoint being like, oh my god, let's tug at the nostalgic heartstrings and let's sell this for $5.99. Uh, I can compare it to a game that I recently played, Star Ocean Second Evolution R came out last year, which was a remake of Star Ocean 2, and they had the legacy portraits and the legacy like character portraits for free. Like that was just baked into that game, and um... And this is something that other remasters and remakes have had, where they've updated portraits and things like that, but they offer a classic mode. A lot of games offer things that offer a classic mode, and I'm sure Age of Mythology has elements to it that harken back to the original release, but at the same time, selling this DLC for $5.99 is wild. It's really just a, uh exemplification of the gaming industry at large, because when you look at this game, not only does it have the, uh, the this $5.99 DLC... It's doing one of the things that I absolutely detest in gaming, the early access gimmick where the premium edition got you the base game up to seven days of early access, the new gods pack, the legacy deity portrait pack was included in this uh, premium edition, so people that got the premium edition, they did get this portrait pack, you don't get that with the standard edition, expansion pack uh, one and two are also included with that. But they're baking in things that in the past would have been a part of standard editions. For example, another game that did this was Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Literally, I've said it before, that game is my front runner for game of the year right now and I'm about to crap on it. That game did a gimmick where in the Deluxe Edition, they locked a new game plus behind the Deluxe Edition. This is literally content and options that were available in games of yesterday before DLC and microtransactions have exploded the way that they have, where now they are removing content that otherwise in the past would have been available in base releases of games and now locking it behind premium editions and selling that as an added bonus. It's wild to me, and really when you assess it, this whole early access gimmick, it's promoted in a different way, but it's the same thing. In the past, the expectation was you pay the price point of the game, whether it be $60, $50, $70, and you would get 
to play the game the day it came out. That was the expectation in the past. The reality now is you don't get to play the game on launch day if you only spend $60. You have to wait an added period of time. That's included for games like Warhammer Space Marine 2 and a lot of big games coming out. Star Wars Outlaws had this gimmick. Assassin's Creed Shadows had this gimmick. Guys, you ain't getting early access. Anybody with half a brain cell knows you're not getting early access. In the past, you would get to play the game when it was ready to go, when it was available. That is not the case anymore. They have taken away something that you would get in the past for free, the ability to play the game when it's released, and they've taken that and they locked it behind this deluxe edition or gold edition. This is something that's happening, and that's the same thing that's happening here. This legacy deity portrait pack, it's kind of the same thing as early access. It's something that would have been available in the past. Now it's being locked behind uh, this gold edition. It's just promoted in a different way. The early access gimmick, that's a very, very enticing an easy thing to promote. Ain't nobody gonna find uh, it easy to promote legacy portrait packs, but that should have been in the game right out the gate. Just like Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth should have had New Game Plus right out the gate uh, in the base game. And it's a conglomeration of everything. It's in a vacuum. Would I care this much about the Legacy Deity Portraits Pack? No, I wouldn't. It's not that big of a deal at the end of a, uh, at the end of the day. However, this has just been building and building and accumulating and accumulating as more and more content has been stripped away from base releases of game. It's not just early access. I absolutely hate this early access gimmick they're doing, but it's stuff like the Legacy Deity Portrait Pack. It's stuff like New Game Plus and Like a Dragon infinite wealth and guess what you know i can make my videos complaining and uh you know moaning and all this kind of stuff but these games are still gonna sell fun they're gonna find more creative ways to promote these gold editions in fact that early access gimmick, take it one step further with Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. That game has literally tiered early access, where if you buy the first special edition, you'll get two days of early access. And then if you buy the super duper premium edition, the gold edition, which is, uh, you know, I believe $20 more, and then the other edition is $10 more. But if you buy the edition that's $20 more, you get to play a week in advance. So now we're taking the early access and we're literally tiering it. They are getting more and more crap as far as what content they can lock away in these premium editions and people are just gonna normalize it it's just gonna naturally get normalized over time look at Star Wars Outlaws had the early access gimmick had day one story based content that was locked away day one into that a uh, gold edition and Ubisoft's gonna keep pushing the envelope you already know that they're gonna get wild with it and they're gonna figure out how to do some crazy stuff but uh you know, it's just a sad state of affairs as far as gaming. This in a vacuum is just ridiculous when you assess it, but what it means in the grander picture of gaming and you just see the nonsense coming over and over again with these deluxe editions. I mean, I've been talking about the early access gimmick for a while at the very least. Uh, I know I complained about it with the release of Hogwarts Legacy because that's the one where it stood out to me the most, where it was a totally single player game and they were doing that gimmick. Um, I definitely have been complaining about it well before that as well, though. But that'll do it for me. One of the most insane robbery DLCs uh, I've seen in quite a while. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. That is the lay of the land in gaming these days. That'll do it for me. Your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.